it's right. going. All right. I'd like to call our regular village board meeting to order. Do all to rise and pledge allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Welcome, everybody. Clerk, uh, please call all. Karevka? Jones? Here. Sluice? Here. Parker? Here. Ham? Here. Bowden? Here. Marepka's on the phone. Oh. Yes, I'm here too. You cut out for a second. I was waiting for my name. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. Um, the minutes of our last meeting are not ready yet, uh, so we will approve those at the next meeting, correct? Uh, accounts payable and payroll in your packet. It was a list of the bills. Uh, payroll, pay period adding 12 26 20 for 50965 uh, Accounts payable in the general fund, 165948 And that is it. So any questions on the bills? I do. This is Shelley. I had one question. Um, what was the Black Hill for $1,119 for That was ammunition for the police uh, force. Fantastic, thank you. Yep. Any other questions? If not, I will entertain a motion to approve the bills. Motion. A motion. Uh, moved by Trustee Parker, second by Trustee Marevka. Parker. Yes. Marevka. Yes. Jones. Yes. Sluice. Yes. Am. Yes. Bowden. Yes. All right. Uh, public comment. Uh, we do have Tracy and Angie from Aqua on the line. Do you guys want to give us an update? Sure, this is Tracy, I can go first. Um, we don't really have any updates on any projects. We have not heard anything back from the railroad as far as the boring goes. Um, we've reached out to them a couple of times to find out when that is on their schedule so that we can make sure we got our contractors uh, scheduled to get the work done. So I will continue to update you as I know something. All right. Any questions from any of the board? This is uh, Angie. I have a, an update. I have a newsletter that we will be sending out uh, shortly to the community. Um, so it has some updates regarding the village and then some updates on projects that we've given updates on already at the village board meeting, along with some um, pictures and visuals. So. If there's any questions that come in from that, we'd be happy to answer them. And I would assume that that would go out in the mailing probably early next week. Okay, great. Uh, and, and that's a, a quarterly uh, newsletter, is that right? We do get them out about quarterly. There's not a set time frame. All we could, you know, do is, is many or a few, but we do try to do it in quarterly. Yep. Okay. Exactly. All right, sounds good. Yeah, just... Give us a couple weeks notice so that we can uh, get a few items in there, okay? Sure, absolutely. All right. Any other, uh, first of all, any other questions from the board on Aqua? No. Okay. Thank you, guys. Any other public on the line that would like to speak? Uh, if not, uh, we'll go to reports of committees. Um, I know Bob's on the line. Do you have anything you want to say, Bob? Uh, I did a walk through this or this past week uh, with Robinson on the uh, Corning Avenue project. Uh, we'll be putting together a uh, punch list for that project uh, to issue to the contractor. Um, also, we're going to try to get uh, branch pickup. Uh, knocked out this week while the weather is relatively still warm. So do you just want people to pile up branches on top of the snow in the parkway, basically? 
Well, that's pretty much what I've noticed around town. Uh, that's fine. Okay. Uh, and we'll get it picked up. Thank you. Thank you. A nice job plowing snow the last uh, couple weeks. Thank you. Appreciate the clean streets. Okay. Um, we don't have any other reports. I don't know. Do we? I guess you want to have an AOC uh, meeting report. Sure. We we met last week. Uh, continuing to get an early start on the next year's budget and uh, develop the budget schedule that's a little bit ahead of where we normally go. Um, we talked about uh, credit card. Uh, purchase policy that I think we're going to discuss here in a little bit and uh, discuss about the uh, participating in the IMET program. So those are the main highlights. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Old business. We have none. New business. Uh, we have a proclamation uh, in honor of a longtime employee, Jim Benarowitz. So let me just read this and then we will present the certificate. So, honoring on his retirement from the Village of Piatone Public Works Water and Sewer Department, whereas Jim Benarowitz retired from the Village of Piatone effective December 31st, 2020, and whereas Jim ben James Benarowitz began his public service career on September 29th, 1985 as a water and sewer foreman, whereas James Benarowitz served this village and the public with distinction and selflessness during, and during his 35 years of service, he was dedicated and his work was greatly appreciated by the village and co-workers alike. And now, therefore, be it proclaimed by the village of Piatone Board of Trustees that the board applauds James Benarowitz's efforts on behalf of the village and the board wishes to express their appreciation for the dedicated service he has given to the village of Piatone for the last 35 years. And be it further proclaimed that the village of Piatone trustees and staff extend heartfelt wishes for success in his future endeavors and retirement. Adopted this 11th day of January 2021. So if you'd like to come up front here and we'll do a motion for the Oh, yeah. So yeah, I'd entertain a motion to approve that proclamation. Motion. Second. Been moved by Trustee Sluice, second by Trustee Ham, or Trustee Jones. Sluice. Yes. Jones. Yes. Parker. Yes. Ham. Yes. Bowden. Yes. Marevka. Rock. Yes. <laughs> There you go. And here's the coveted uh, blue uh, pin as well. <laughs> you got the logo in the background? I do. Like I do. Sideways? Take that you sticky know? flag off of there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Very yeah. much. Congratulations. Enjoy your retirement. Yes, I will. Congratulations, Jim. <laughs> Thank you, Shirley. <laughs> All right, moving on. <clears throat> there is a motion. Uh, we have a uh, acceptance of statement of qualifications from Robinson Engineering for Phase Three Construction Engineering and Layout on West Street resurfacing from Corning to Joliet Road. But Troy, are you on the line? Are you there, Troy? Oh, okay. So this is uh, for our project that is going to uh, start in the fall, uh, summer or fall of this year, uh, the West Street project from Corning Avenue to Joliet Road. Uh, and this just basically said we've done everything we need to do as far as uh, um, advertising for the engineering services, and um, so it's just to kind of dot the I's and cross the T's for the state uh, project. So, is that about? That about sums, sums it up. up. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. They were the only applicant, so you can see that in my email chain and that I put in the packet for you. I got accepted that, and that and said we went, we did the procedure correctly, and that, and then I put the. A notification that it, we we know we noticed it twice in the bidet. 
Okay, so I'll entertain a motion to approve that. Motion. Second. I'll motion it. Okay, it's been moved by Trustee Jones, seconded by Trustee Ham. Jones. Yes. Ham. Yes. Marevka. Yes. Sluice. Yes. Parker. Yes. Bowden. Yes. All right, item C, the resolution approving and authorizing execution of the third amended and restated declaration of trust. So uh, this whole uh, document, uh, I don't know, it's about 50 pages long. Uh, this is from IMET, which we, uh, the AOC decided to put a sum of money in from our uh, investment funds uh, to allow Amy, our administrator, to be on the board of this organization. So IMET is an investment firm that is uh, run by uh, basically government officials. Um, it's just another option for our investments and we were approached by them uh, they would like to have Amy on their board and that for the requirement um, for her to be on the board is that the village has to have some funds invested in it so we're going to invest a minimal amount uh, so that Amy can get on that board and hopefully gather some experience on investing and, and share that uh, with the village uh, in the future so what uh, is what is uh, the amount Ten thousand dollars. Sophia was online. Um, this is oh, this is Sophia you. Anastopoulos. I'm the executive director of IMET. If there are any questions, I would be delighted to uh, to answer for you. Is a statewide organization? Yes. Yeah. Um, so, Sophia, are you just in the state of Illinois, or do you guys invest funds? From yes, other... we are. We are only in the state of Illinois, and uh, we are an intergovernmental uh, organization created and run by Illinois local governments. So, we're not a uh, a not-for-profit, uh, we're quasi-governmental, um, and we're not a bank or an investment advisor. So, we pool. Uh, local governments, counties in Illinois, the money's together, and we invest them uh, jointly. How much money are you currently managing? Right now, we have about seven hundred million dollars, and we have uh, two funds. One is externally managed, uh, about two hundred million dollars, and five hundred million dollars we manage uh, internally. Uh, myself and the uh, the board of directors, which is comprised of uh, eight trustees, administrators, and finance directors, and we would like Amy to uh, to join on that board. What was your rate of return for uh, 2020? Um, the, uh, the the the. As I mentioned, we have two uh, funds. The liquid fund uh, currently has a return, a yield, uh, what we call yield of 25 basis points. Our other fund is a longer term fund and the total return on that has been for the 12 months ending last Friday, uh, 1%. So that's where you put the longer term fund. We don't market it. Uh, recommended for liquidity needs, but you know the, the set it and forget it monies. Twenty five years, and over that period, the return has been three point zero six percent. So you know you have some up years, some down years, but over twenty five years, uh, a little. I wasn't able to hear the rate of return for 2020. Yeah, you broke up a little bit. So <clears throat> what was the rate of return for 2020? Let me pull up 2020. I just gave the uh, last 12 months return has been 3.51%. Okay. Percent. That's fine. That's good. Okay. And you said over the 25 years, it's 
averaged around 3%, correct? Yes, okay. yes, that's exactly right. Uh, as I meant to men, it's externally managed. We just did an RFP a couple of years ago, and we uh, the mandate is for it to be managed to get the highest rating by Moody's for funds in that category, so it carries the AAA rating. It's very short-term, it's pretty liquid. Um, investment grade. Any other questions? Okay, then I'll entertain a motion to uh, approve this uh, third amended and restated declaration of trust. This would be resolution 20-R11. Motion. Is Second. Chris? Been moved by Trustee Jones, seconded by Trustee Sluice. Jones? Yes. Sluice? Yes. Marathka? Yeah. Parker? Yes. Ham? Yes. Helm? Yes. All right. Thank you, Sophia. Thank you so much. And if you have any questions at any point, feel free to uh, to call me. And we're very excited uh, to, uh, to have Amy join us. So have a good evening, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. The next item is a resolution adopting a Village of Theatre credit card policy. <coughs> so, um, in your packet, there was a uh, policy that uh, Amy put together. Uh, we, we never had a written credit card policy, so uh, it's just something that the AOC thought we should have. Uh, this wasn't in response to any you know, shenanigans or anything like that, but it's just something that we should have on record so that the policy is clearly stated and it's, um, hopefully prevent problems in the future. So as of right now, just to kind of give you guys, a, uh, the, the village does have a credit card that um, there's five cards, four, four cards. Yeah. So I have one, the administrator has one, works has one, and police chief has one. Correct? Is that right? I have one. And you have one. So that's five. From the previous set or the previous credit card? If you got something new, then yeah. no, I don't have anything. Yeah. yeah. So the, but the, but that those haven't been closed out totally yet. Yeah. So. So we, um, we wanted to get something down in writing just so that, uh, you know, everybody knows what the policy is. Uh, any questions on any of that? It was pretty straightforward. Okay. Not, um, I'll entertain a motion to approve that credit card policy, and this would be resolution 20-R12. So moved. Second. It's been moved by Trustee Bowden, second by Trustee Sluice. Bowden? Yes. Sluice? Yes. Marevka? Yes. Jones? Yes. Parker? Yes. Ham? Yes. All right, moving on to an ordinance. Uh, ordinance increasing the simplified telecommunications tax from 5 to 6% by amending Title 12, Chapter 121, Section 121.07 of the Code of Teotone. And Trustee Bowden, do you want to talk about that? We sure. About this at the AOC meeting. Yeah, this is something that we came through at the AOC meeting. Um, if, as we've been working on trying to balance the budget, I think we've been kind of looking for other sources of revenue, and um, we just we, we realized that uh, we're able to uh, raise an additional one percent, um, uh, increasing the taxes on the uh, telecommunications stuff. So we kind of talked through that. And, not a, not a huge sum of money, but uh, it's uh, a little bit more of trying, trying to close the budget gap that we've got. How much money is it? It would be um, about ten to twelve thousand dollars a year. And the overall telecommunications tax, what what does that include? What is what so is it? it is. Uh, and any uh, cell phone, any telephone uh, bill, uh, there's a, you know, 
utility tax on that municipal tax. That's, that's what that is. The, uh, the telecommunication tax brings in about $60,000 annually. Overall, with, with all the other utility taxes, it's a, um, about $230,000 a year. The telecommunications portion, because there's an electric, um, a gas, and then there's the telecommunications utility tax. The telecommunications portion is about 60000 of that. And as the mayor just stated, that this additional 1% would bring in an additional 10 to 12, added on to that 60 thousand annually on just the telecommunication and is that money earmarked for anything the 10 to 12 well anything we raise you know we're trying to to uh you know put towards the police pension fund of course to try to make sure we can fully fund that that's the whole really the whole purpose is about you know trying to balance this budget Other questions? Okay. Entertain a motion. I'll motion it. Is there a second? Second. Been moved by Trustee Bowden, second by Trustee Jones to approve an ordinance increasing the simplified telecommunications tax from 5 to 6%. Okay. This would be Ordinance 20 20. Bowden? Yes. Jones? Yep. Marevka? Yes. Sluice? Yes. Parker? Yes. Was that yes? Yes. And Ham? Yes. All right. Moving on, uh, in your packet, there's an amplifier permit from Cornerstone Coffee House for January 16th of 2021. And this is a similar event that they held in the fall. And uh, just requesting an amplifier permit. Do they need one if it's indoors? They do. Down is not yes. Yeah, I think okay. they're talking now. They're going to get a uh, year one, like other places do. Oh, okay. They didn't realize they were going to have this many events. So instead of paying for them singly, <laughs> they'll get the year one, and then it won't come before the board except one time in the beginning of the year. Okay. Great. Glad to hear they're having more events. Is there a motion? Motion. Second. And moved by Trustee Jones, second by Trustee Sluice. Jones. Yes. <clears throat> Sluice. Yes. Marevka. Yes. Parker. Yes. Ham. Yes. Um, yes. Item F, a motion to approve no parking on the north side of West Wilson Street. From Railroad Street to First Street. Is that from the railroad or from Railroad Street? Do we want to say? It would probably be better from Railroad. Yeah. Okay. So from, from the railroad track. From the railroad, from CN Railroad to First Street. So uh, this came out of the public works meeting that we had a, a couple weeks ago. Um, if you look on the map that was included in your packet, um, Wilson Street narrows uh, once you get past the Connor Shaw Center, uh, it narrows quite a bit. And if two cars are parked on both sides of the street, uh, it's pretty narrow, um, pretty difficult to get through. So. We're talking about a half a block um, to uh, prevent parking and just keep the street nice and clear. So, any other questions, comments? Has there been any like issues, traffic accidents, or anything like that? No, just there's been some. I don't want to say complaints, but you know, comments from residents that you know they, they have a hard time getting their vehicles through there. So. I've had several phone calls from people thanking us for discussing it at the meeting and thought it was time to do it. Okay. Cool. okay. Is there a motion? Motion. Second. It's been moved by Trustee Jones, second by Trustee Ham. 
Joan. Yes. Pam. Yes. Marevka. Yes. Yeah. Sluice. Yes. Parker. Yes. And Bowden. Yes. All right. Uh, questions of the press. Chris, do you have anything? He does. He's muted. Uh, <laughs> any other correspondence? Any? Any update on the drainage problem project? Maybe that's a toy thing. They were going to go out there and look at yeah. it and. We're in the process probably sometime this week they'll go out and stake it. We did a, a on-site meeting with the contractor mm -hmm. and, um, and so they'll be going out there to, to stake it and try to come up with the best route okay. and then I'll be talking to the, the homeowner um, about easement. Mm -hmm. Cool. But no deal breakers or anything yet? Uh, not yet. Good. All right. There's nothing else. I'll uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion. Second. It's been moved by Trustee Sluice, second by Trustee Parker. Sluice. Yes. Parker. Yes. Marevka. Yes. Jones. Yes. Pam. Yes. Malvin. Yes. Uh, and. Before everybody goes, just a reminder, we've got a special meeting tomorrow at 2 p.m., right, with Upland Design. So you can call in for that one, the phone number's in there, and uh, if you want to come in, that'd be great, too. So um, we're going to be talking about uh, you know, the downtown revitalization. So looking forward to that. So everybody have a good evening. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Can we come Thank in? Thank you very much. Good night. Good night, Jim. What was that, Shelly? Good night. I just want to make sure we can come in tomorrow, correct? Correct. Or do you just want to call? Okay, good. Because I've noticed that the um on this call it 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 cuts out a lot. Does it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah.